Welcome to East and West, your dose of uplift, encouragement, and inspiration. With Craig Demo and Chukwuenye Anwoha. East and West. Here we go. Well, I'm so glad that you've joined us today for this episode of East and West. This is episode number 56. And East and West, today, as always, is your dose of uplift, encouragement, and inspiration. And that is what God's going to do for you today. I am Brother Craig Demo. I'm on the West Coast of the USA. I'm in Portland, Oregon, to be specific. And I'm being joined right, right now by my good friend, Chukwenenye on Woha, on the East Coast, New York City, Queens, New York. Praise God. And uh, he is originally from Nigeria, West Africa. So how are you doing, Dr. Chooks? Praise the Lord. I am doing well. God is so good. Amen. In fact, in the recent time, God has been, you know, opening up things. And uh, we're just seeing, like, things are getting better. You know, it's, it went from worse, but it's getting better than more than people can even expect or imagine. So just get ready, you that is listening. It can only be better. Amen. Praise God. You know, a lot of folks don't know this, but um, we've been focusing, you know, on the feeding project over in Umaya, which is where close to where you grew up in Nigeria. Uh, but you've got a whole lot of other things going on that we haven't talked about on this platform. And, uh, you know, and by the way, before we uh, finish out this broadcast today, we've got to uh, talk a little bit about the feeding project again, because uh, there is great things happening over there every single week, actually every single day. But uh, God's doing a great work and he's moving by his spirit all over hey. the world. So glory to God. I am just so excited about it. And uh, praise God. Listen, if you're not excited about it, my friend, you will be by the time this broadcast is over. Either that or you got your wood completely wet. Praise God. And that's why no fire can be lit. Oh, wow. I don't believe that's the case at all. I believe that we are calling out to people that love Jesus and want to be on fire for the Lord, want to be used of God in this end time hour. And uh, I am so thrilled about it. Praise God. You know, if you are born again, that means you have the life of God on the inside of you. And uh, God is using your body as a temple of the Holy Ghost, which we're going to talk about today. Uh, as you know, so so that you you are his mobile temple. God chose to live on the inside of you because he wanted to manifest himself to this world uh, in this time. So praise God. So you are God's headquarters. Amen. You're God's HQ. Glory to God. So we want to talk about the Holy Ghost being full of the Holy Ghost. And, you know, we were just praying. Um I, I'll just let you in a, a little secret. You know, we we pray before we turn the recording on, and we were just praying before uh, we we turned on, hit the record button, and uh, the Lord was talking to me as we were praying together, Doctor Chooks, and He just said, uh, you know, because you you had mentioned about uh, being filled with the Holy Ghost and talking about that subject and why is why that's so important and what that can do for you and how that can just totally change your life. And all these things. And I am so glad you brought up that topic. But we were praying about this. And the Lord spoke to me and he says, I want you to do five weeks on this subject. Well, I have no idea what the outline is. But you know what? We're going to be led by the Holy Ghost. So, so here we go. Glory to God. And sometimes it's like that walking with Jesus. You know, you just feel like you're along for the ride. And it's really exciting. So praise God. Amen. I just want to mention a particular scripture to you. And uh, then I want you to take it away, Dr. Chooks. But, um, you know, we often talk about the kingdom. The kingdom is so important. Uh, when you are born again, you actually enter into a whole system of government, which God designed to rule everything, all of creation. Praise God. He is training you to be a part of reigning uh in the age to come 
And he wants you as one of his leaders. And that's why he's put you here. That's why you're listening to this broadcast right now. He puts you in the kingdom of God to be ruled over, but also to rule. And uh, just like the centurion said to, said to Jesus, I'm a man under authority. And because I submit to authority, I tell one to go do this and he does it. I tell another to go do that and he does it. Praise God. And that's the way it works. God wants you to be one that's under authority. So you learn how to wield authority. But in that kingdom uh, is everything that God has made of available to us. And sometimes we think about the blessing of God and we are absolutely correct in thinking that way. God has every kind of blessing for us. Ephesians 1, 3 said, blessed be the God uh, and father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Well, praise God. We're in that kingdom. So everything that belongs to God belongs to us. We're heirs of God. We're, we're joint heirs with Jesus Christ. So therefore, what belongs to Jesus, guess what? It belongs to you too, my friend, if you're born again. Just that simple. But there's a key that's found in Romans 14, verse 17. And this is where I was going. It says this about the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is not meat or drink. In other words, it's not just the blessing in terms of what comes with the spoken word of God. Blessing means to say something good about, and it and when something that's good is spoken, it brings about good things, and God wants to manifest good things. Well, that's correct, but the kingdom of God is not the meat and the drink. It's not the effect or the results of the blessing. It is, listen, righteousness. Amen. It's peace and it's joy. Praise God. Now, let me stop right there for a second. It's righteousness. In other words, it's right standing with God, being in right, right relationship with him. It is peace, which means completeness or wholeness, nothing missing, nothing broken. And it's joy. Praise God. You enjoy it. But listen to this. The righteousness, the peace and the joy is in the Holy Ghost. Amen. Praise God. So it behooves us to know this person of the Godhead that's in the world today, to know the Holy Ghost. Amen. Because in the Holy Ghost is the righteousness and the peace and the joy, and that is the kingdom of God. Praise the Lord. So we are going to do what Paul said to the Ephesian believers. Don't be drunk with wine. Be filled with the Holy See, be drunk with the Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Be full of the Holy Ghost. And if you know something, if somebody says to me, you know, you're just full of it. Well, if they're talking about the right thing, I take that as a compliment. I mean, I am full of God. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. I want the Spirit of God to fill me up so full that I am cooperating with him in everything. Praise God. Now, I know you got some things to share, and I want to turn it right over to you, Dr. Chooks. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My God, I want to thank God for this subject, being filled with the Holy Spirit. Yes. That's, that is one subject that we need to really, really spend time on. I'm glad that the Holy Spirit, you know, just, uh, you know, pressed it on your heart that we're going to take it five series. Glory to God, because this is very, very a key. Uh, if you want to accomplish the will, the purpose of God, there is no way you can do that without the Holy Spirit because it's the Holy Spirit that searches the mind of God and knows the will of God, every single one of them. Glory yeah. to God. That's why God promised in Joel 2.28 that in the last days he's going to pour out his spirit Hallelujah. upon all flesh. There is no one excluded. So if you exclude yourself from being filled with the Holy Spirit, you are on your own. It's just like you buying a brand new car and you refuse to drive it. It's doing you no favor right there in the garage or on your driveway. Praise God. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit is just the driver for you to accomplish all 
God that God wants you to accomplish yes. on planet earth. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Jesus said, when the disciples were disheartened that they were troubled, he told, he told them, he said, let not your heart be troubled in John chapter, John chapter 14. He said, you believe in God, believe also in me. My father's house, there are many mansions. If you were not so, I would have told you, I'm going to prepare you a place and I come back to take you to myself that where I am, you may be also. And I will send you to you another comforter mm. who is going to be with mm. you for you and from you. And he's going to bring to your remembrance all that I have told you. So do you understand that a lot of people that don't understand, hallelujah, how present God is right now in yes. our world today, that God is here. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. He's here in the person of the Holy Spirit. That's the God that lives in the inside of you. You can feel him. You can talk to him. You can walk with him. He can guide you and lead you. Jesus speaking and looked at that 24, I think verse 49. He said, and I will give you the promise of the Father. I will give to you. I will send to you the promise of the Father. He said, but tarry you at Jerusalem until you be endued with power from on high. So the Holy Spirit is our power from on high. Mm. And when the Bible talks about as many as receive him to them, give you power to become the sons of God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That is in John chapter 1 verse 12. That's talking about the Holy Spirit. And God also talks about that God is a spirit and those who worship God must worship God in spirit and in truth. Yes. So it is important you understand it, that the personality of the Holy Spirit is uh, a personality you cannot do without. My God, I know that some of you are because of the, your religious, the various religious background, you know, you have been taught, you know, for many, many years not to talk about the Holy Spirit. Maybe some people are afraid of the Holy Ghost because of the Holy that is attached to the ghost. But I tell <laughs> you, you, praise God, you need that Holy Ghost. I, I, I want to tell you this. A, a, a friend was uh, was telling his friend in the neighborhood, I said, I, I see you, you are not troubled, you are not afraid, and, uh, you know, but uh, there is a ghost troubling us, you know, in this place. I was wondering if that ghost is also you know, troubling you in your house. Um, the, the friend said to him, he said, um, there's also ghosts in my house, but the difference between your ghost and my ghost is that the ghost in my house is holy. <laughs> <laughs> the God. ghost in my house is holy. So people, I don't know if it's because of that holy that is attached to it that is your problem. Listen, God is holy. So yes. praise God. Don't run away from the Holy Spirit. Don't run away from the Holy Spirit because the presence of the Holy Spirit is the gift of God, is, is the comfort that we're talking about uplift, we're talking about comfort and inspiration. There is no way you can receive it, hallelujah, outside the, the, the presence of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In fact, there's no grammar that we talk about here that is enough. The Holy Spirit is the comforter. If you have lost a loved one, if you are going through anything, listen to me. The comfort that you receive, that will cut it, is the one that comes from the Holy Ghost. Yes. Amen. That is the transporter of the glory of God, the anointing of God, the power of God. In fact, is the gospel made easy. So I want you to disabuse your mind from anybody who are, that have told you that there is something like the Holy Spirit, it has ended. No, 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 no. It's just beginning. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God is pouring, hallelujah, to his children on daily basis. My God, for you to experience signs and wonders, it, you have to be filled with the Holy Spirit. For you to be able to stand in the face of adversity, you have to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Jesus speaking in John chapter 6, verse 63, he said, for the flesh profits nothing. He said before, he said that, he said, it is the spirit that quickens. Yeah. It is the spirit that quickens. Praise God. And the Romans chapter 8, verse 14 says, as many that are led by the spirit, Spirit of God, they are the source of God. So we just have to lay this foundation today. 
you need to be filled with the Holy Spirit. It's yeah. a promise of the Father. You need him, hallelujah, in the midst of adversity. You, you need the Holy Spirit in order to overcome the enemy. You need the Holy Spirit in order to assess everything that God has in store for you. It is yeah. important for you to understand it that when you are filled with the Holy Spirit, you are not ordinary anymore. You are not just ordinary flesh and blood because, hallelujah, the spirit of God in you, it is that spirit of God in you that connects you to God, that connects you to your destiny, that connects you to every divine opportunity. Yeah. Glory to God. And it is also important for you to note that it is not baptism. It's not the water baptism. Water baptism is different from being filled with the Holy Spirit. Being saved is different from being filled with the Holy Spirit. Yes. It is important for you to understand. It is an experience, praise God, which if you read us on the Apostles chapter 19 from verse 1 to 6, praise God, the disciples were preaching the gospel, hallelujah, and they, they saw certain believers and they asked him, have you received the Holy Spirit since you believe? They said, we don't even know if there's anything called the Holy Spirit. These were believers, Yes. Praise God. So somebody can be a believer, so we, a believer without being filled with the Holy Spirit, without even knowing that, uh, you know, there is Holy Spirit, hallelujah, out there for him to ask God to fill him with the Holy Spirit so that he can, you know, manifest his yeah. full potential. Glory to God. Paul asked them, which baptism were you baptized? They said that they were baptized with John baptism, that mm -hmm. John baptized and printed the, the message of repentance. They got uh, repented, they got saved, and they were baptized by water. He said, no, John baptized you with the water, but hallelujah, Jesus will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. Mm -hmm. Fire. Holy Spirit and fire. I am glad that when Paul laid his hands on them and pray for them. They not only spoke in tongues as an evidence of being filled with the Holy Spirit, they also prophesied. They entered into the prophetic office. Glory to God. Can you imagine that? Just yeah. at a touch, hallelujah, the Holy Spirit came and carried the prophetic along with it. Yes. So that is the way when you are filled with the Holy Spirit, I tell you, it comes with everything that heaven has to offer. Glory to God. Just Open your heart as we go through this series. You will never be the same again. You are going to be endued without power from on high so that you can be as bold as a lion, as the Bible says that, that hallelujah, my God, my God, that you, the righteous, shall be as bold as a lion. When the Holy Spirit, yes. you know, comes, he comes with boldness. You have that confidence, glory to God. We don't have so much time, and thank God we're going to continue in this subject, but brethren, you need to be filled with the Holy Spirit yes. right now. Don't even wait for the next minute. Praise God. Begin to desire. Begin to ask God right now. Fill me with the Holy Spirit, with yes. the evidence of speaking in tongues, and with all the gift and the benefits, hallelujah, of being filled with the Holy Spirit. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. The Spirit of God is what you need. Amen. Absolutely. Praise God. Praise God. You know, um, I was sharing with you about a preacher that used to tell, especially younger preachers, you know, he would just admonish them and just tell them, how is it possible that you can go win the world and you're not even filled with the Holy Ghost? You can't. Do it. See, God told his, uh, excuse me, Jesus told his disciples to tarry in Jerusalem after he told them that they're going to go into all the world. Then he said, well, just hang on. <laughs> you're going to mm -hmm. go. But first of all, you're going to be equipped. And so you wait here in Jerusalem to be filled with the Holy Ghost. Amen. And when the Holy Ghost came, there was no holding back what God wanted to do through the people. And, you know, God wants to use every single person in the real fulfillment in life. You know, it is not to go visit the seven wonders of the world or to take cruises uh, to the Mediterranean and and uh, go uh, scale Mount Everest and do all these or go on an African safari or all these things that people hold in such high esteem. The real fulfillment in life is doing what God called you to do, not because it's a matter of God wants you to do things. He wants you 
But but if he has you, he is going to uh, use you to bring himself to others. Hallelujah. And the expression of God uh, through the Holy Spirit is going to be different with each and every individual. And that's why throughout the book of Acts, every time people... Um, People were filled with the Holy Ghost. They prayed in tongues. Very, very important. Because there is a way to pray that is beyond our understanding. You mentioned Acts 19 and you took us through all those verses. And you know what? One of the interesting things there is that the people heard the words of Paul talking about the Holy Ghost. It, and, and it says in verse 5, when they heard this, when they heard the words, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. And when Paul laid hands on him, the Holy Ghost came on them. Now, you know, faith comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God. And so the way that we receive faith is to receive the words of God, because you cannot separate God from his word. So they received the word. And with the word came the one who is the word, the Lord Jesus Christ. And Paul laid hands on him. And in laying hands on him, there was an impartation. The Holy Ghost came on them and they spoke with tongues. But I like the last part. They also prophesied. And you mentioned, this. praise God, there was a prophetic unction. And that's yes. one of the things that God is doing at this particular hour, because we are in that age where we are wrapping things up. God mm. wants us to be filled with power from in, from the Jesus. inside. But in addition to that, he wants us to speak his power out. He wants to us to speak what he wants to do in the earth and in the word is the power to bring itself to pass. So as we not only speak in tongues, which is to pray according to the perfect will of God, according to Romans 8, 26 and 27, but we also, in addition to speaking the perfect will of God, uh, you know, to God himself, amen. And we are edified. We are built, we are building up ourselves on our most holy faith. But in addition, we prophesy in native languages, languages that we know, things that God is doing in the earth. And we can do that with assurance. We can do that with boldness. And those things come to pass because that is prophecy. It's speaking, speaking forth the very words of God into the earth. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hey, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Dr. Chooks, I wish that right now you just pray for people to Praise be filled God. with the Holy Ghost before Hallelujah. we talk about what God's doing over there in Nigeria. Praise Amen. God. Praise Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord God Almighty, for yes. those who are listening right yes. now. Yes. Heavenly Father, there are so many that have not even heard about the Holy Spirit. Yes. And so many, oh God, they have heard, but they don't know that it's for them. Father, King of glory, we pray right now for yes. that conviction, oh God, for them to see, mm -hmm. hallelujah, that Father is a promise of the Father. You promise to, hallelujah, to send the Holy Spirit and you fulfill your promise, mm -hmm. oh God. Mm -hmm. It is our duty to receive him in our hearts, oh God, and in our lives, oh God, and be able to fulfill mm -hmm. the purpose for you, which you have, oh God, sent your spirit, oh God, heavenly Father. Thank you for the power Hallelujah, that you are giving to somebody right now who yes. is filled with the Holy Spirit. Yes. Thank you, King of Glory, for the evidence of being filled with the Holy Spirit, speaking in tongues. The gift of the Holy Spirit that will be manifesting, oh God, in the life of somebody right now. Yes, Lord, hallelujah. The help that the Holy Spirit gives or brings, hallelujah, because we partner with Him when we don't even know how to pray or what we pray. But the Spirit Himself may get intercession for us. We groan His which can never be altered. Father, thank you for, hallelujah, that this, oh God, Father God, King of Glory, subject, and thank you for Hallelujah. Lord miracles Hallelujah. that are taking place right Lord, now. Healing, deliverance is open door, breakthroughs to the glory and Hallelujah. praise of your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody, thank Hallelujah. You. God has opened yes. your right eyes right now. Hallelujah. Yes. That's somebody listening. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Your left thank hand you, that looks like it's weeder. That Hallelujah. But life is coming to it yes. right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That's another person that is listening right now. Glory to God. There's this pain. Hallelujah. My God, my God, in your stomach. It's been there for a long yes. time. 
that they have gone through and several oh, and several investigations and several x-rays and that uh, nothing is found and uh, they've done like sonogram and all of that nothing was found but you still mm. feel that pain mm. today this is the end of it hallelujah of the yes. Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. Glory to, Glory to God. And every Glory respiratory to issue is gone in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father, for Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. You know, destinies are being released right now. Uh, the whole world is looking for the manifestation of the sons of God. <sighs> Hallelujah. You know, the new birth makes you a child of God, but being filled with the Holy Ghost enables you to act like a child of God. Amen. So, praise God. That's exactly what you want. Well, glory to God. Let's share with the people what God is doing over in Nigeria, and I know you'll want to be a part. So listen to this quick announcement, and then we'll come right back. Ambassador Ministries International is partnering with God's Cover Churches to feed hungry children in Nigeria, West Africa. The need is growing, but God's Cover Churches is feeding hungry kids every week with plans to run a feeding center every day as this project expands. Now, we found that a little money goes a long way, but we need your help. Several thousand dollars of matching funds have just been offered to help with this program. And this means that for every dollar donated, it's instantly doubled. For example, a gift of just $50 instantly becomes $100. $100 becomes $200, and so on. To help feed the hungry, go to ambassadorministries.org, click the donate button, find the button that says Nigeria, and give a gift of any amount. May the Lord bless you richly for your support. Praise the Lord. I just want to thank God for those of you that have identified with the feeding program going on in Omaha. It is the move of God. I just want to say thank you. Thank you. This program is going for one year every Sunday. And God has been adding to the church daily. The church moved, I've said it before, from 23 members to 129 counting. So this is the move of God. I have no idea what God wants to do in that place, but I sense a great move of God and great revival that is going to bust out by what you are doing. So thank you. If you have given before, thank you. Give again. And the Lord will continue to bless you and to use this ministry and this program to expand the work of God. Thank you. Amen. And of course, you have the information on your screen right now. And uh, if you want to give on a monthly basis or every other week or every other month, you know, however you want to set it up, you can also do a recurring giving and just use the information that's on your screen right now. So praise God. We are so thankful you joined us for East and West today and be sure to join us next time. But before you do that, tell a friend, praise God, and they can receive their dose of uplift, encouragement, and inspiration. Just want to remind you that if you're born again, you are God's ambassador. You're his representative on the earth. Praise God. God is glorified. The devil is terrified. <laughs> Every time. Glory to God. We'll see you. Bye for now. Bye for now. Thanks for watching. Be sure to join us next time for East and West. You can find our hosts at ambassadorministries.org and godscoverchurch.com. Until next time, may God bless you from the East and from the West.